good old circumference here is currently holding plutonium in his pockets. Yep. Are you okay? Are you fine? You don't seem okay as a conference, but then again, you never exactly seemed okay. Oh, I do pity your existence. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Spiffing Brit, and today we're playing The Sims Free. The Sims is, of course, a perfectly balanced life simulator with absolutely no exploits whatsoever. Well, excluding everything I'm about to show you in today's video. We're going to be showing off an exploit which I have been unable to find anywhere on the internet. This exploit is completely untalked about, and hey, if you've managed to somehow find this exploit in The Sims 3 before, honestly, how on earth have you done this? Because this is such a niche and overpowered exploit, you'd have to be digging around in a very strange place in order to find this bad boy. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we're going to be turning The Sims 3 into a fantastic mining tycoon operation today, with the help of a few handy and very broken exploits. If you're new here, welcome. If you're somewhat of a veteran, and go grab yourself a cup of tea because you know what's in store. So sit back, relax, make yourself nice and comfy, salute the Union Jack flying above your PC, and hey, if you're extra fantastic, you might have even given the video a like. Oh my, you amazing being. Anyway, let's go create a broken family. So, welcome to the lovely city of Twinbrook, I believe this is. A relatively decent town in the fantastic game of The Sims 3. It's got everything you need to get this exploit to work, and it's all in such a lovely location. Now, in order to do this exploit perfectly, we're going to need to create some sims. Because whilst this can be done with any sim, there's a specific type of person which is innately designed with fantastic mining operation abilities. Now, we're going to be creating two sims here today, ladies and gentlemen. One to make all of the money and one to spend all of the money. As is the perfect balance in life. You see, we need to create a digging slay, wait, no, not that word, voluntary intern. And so for that, we have this lovely man here who needs a name. You, my friend, are going to dig. Dig so much that you are going to bring eternal wealth to my glorious household. At the same time, it will cost you most of your life essence, but you know, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to take. In this operation, we have two fantastic individuals. We have the legendary Circumference. Circumference is the roundest of individuals. Not only is he very round in the real world, he's also bulky. And he has strong, strong muscles. He's the roundest of boys. Simultaneously Simultaneously chonking and strong. Now, circumference, other than being a legendary round man, including round in head regards. <laughs> Let's look at that beard. Oh my god, circumference, have you seen your face? You are so round, but the beard, um... Yeah, it, you, you don't really have a chin anymore. You have the chin and then the undersag. Oh, I love that. We can even add body hair. Oh, look at how ripped and simultaneously massive he is. Oh, it's terrifying. I love it. Now, circumference needs to quite literally be the roundest of boys we can even imagine, which means he needs to have a nice wide jaw, which is very round. <laughs> Goodness, why could you do this with ears? No one has ears like the Sims free, please. Oh my goodness, then you can make them so pointy. This is Baby Yoda, but if Baby Yoda was a 47-year-old man who's struggling to repay his mortgage and so is hired as a manservant to dig holes for a very, very wealthy individual. <laughs> My goodness, I've also created the inverted chin. This is so wrong. So the cheeks just kind of stick out, so there's an indentation where the mouth is. Oh, it looks so cursed. Yeah, I don't know what I've done with the eyes here. These are, um, unique. <laughs> circumference at one point. Could have been a rational human being. Now he is just the stuff of nightmares. This is fine. I need him to dig holes, not to look pretty. Yeah, and that's that's the nose done. Luckily, because of course, we can't give circumference any face mask or protective gear when he's digging in a mine shaft. We can instead design him in such a way that his nose protects and provides minimal shielding to his eyes so that when a deadly sharp piece of rock is hurled at 700 miles an hour to his eyeballs, it will hopefully be blocked at least ever so slightly by his very solid nose. Oh, we can even give him some beautiful lipstick. Not that it really makes much difference given the fact that he has a horrible fleshy protrusion coming from underneath his mouth part. Oh my goodness, what have I created? Anyway, you're beautiful. Let's fix up your clothes. Wait, we can just make you wear a collar. Well, so what we need to do is put you in some versatile mining equipment, I think. Something to really protect you in the mine shafts. I'm going to say this lovely, very open top white shirt. Fantastic. With some nice cargo trousers. Amazing. Wow. 
Why, we can even put you in glasses. Not that the glasses really make sense because they're too high up, but still, you look amazing. Sadly, of course, we can't give you any of this stuff because your existence is to quite simply mine resources, not have wealth. Anyway, it's time to very importantly design the personality of Circumference. Circumference needs a few very important traits. He needs to be ambitious. He needs to be athletic. Definitely helps if he's eccentric. And a genius is very important as well. And finally, you can whack on frugal if you like. And of course, lucky is a great trait to add because trust me, this exploit is going to be most profitable with a fair amount of luck. So there we go. And yes, your aim is going to be entirely trying to live in the lap of luxury. Yes, have a household net worth of 100 million simoleons. Don't worry, that's going to be achievable very easily. Your enjoyment and existence comes entirely from making sure our next character is wealthy. Who's our final character and the overlord of circumference? Why, it is none other than the legendary Toby Larone. And I must say, he looks perfect for the job. There we go. We've created the legendary Toby Larone. Look at him. Oh my goodness, he is terrifying. He definitely looks like the kind of person who just wants to make money from other sufferings, and that's exactly what he's going to do. So let's add some traits. He needs to be ambitious. He needs to be a genius. He needs to be athletic, brave, but most importantly, a heavy sleeper. Trust me, heavy sleeper is the most important one. Everything else is fine. You don't need anything else. When it comes to his lifetime wish, oh, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't it very obvious? His wish is to simply be swimming in cash, have 50,000 in household funds. Don't worry, we'll do that very quickly. And with that, we have our legendary character of Toby Larone and his trusty faithful sidekick gremlin, Circumference. And it's time we move them into a town, which is probably going to be absolutely terrified of them. Say hello to the legendary Larone conglomerate. Look at how happy they look to be working together. If only Circumference knew what was actually in store for him, my goodness. So welcome to the beautiful city which we find ourselves in. We need to find a place to move in. We don't have much money to start out the game. We've 18,500 simoleons, which is pathetic. We need more money and we need it fast. And it also means we're very limited on where we can actually afford to move in. In our case, we're going to move into this lovely house in the middle of nowhere, which definitely looks like it's built on a swamp. It has one bedroom, one bathroom, and with just a little tender loving care, this dilapidated property could be a charming starter home. Yeah, it's, um, that's not gonna happen. It's time to purchase good old Swampy. This is going to be the start of our business operations. It's not going to be perfect, but trust me, soon we're going to be making a lot of money. So welcome to our brand new house. It doesn't look like much and that's because it isn't much. It has two floors, a very dilapidated living area, a bedroom and a bathroom, and then on the lower floor, we have a washing machine and a drying machine and a basement which looks like it's straight out of a horror film. This is surprisingly the perfect house setup for us. Now we need funds, we need funds quickly. So where are we getting them? Well, immediately we're going to sell all of the living plants and just about anything we can get our hands on from the property. Destroy all of the support structures. Trust me, if the house falls over, it doesn't really matter. And generally just remove any valuable furniture from this house. Trust me, you don't need it. Feel free to also get rid of some of the windows. You don't need windows. Downstairs, we don't need support beams. If it caves in, it doesn't really matter. At the same time, we probably also don't even need this corner. So we can just bring in the corner of the basement a little bit. Fantastic. And destroy these cabinets and this sink. There we go. We weren't ever going to use them anyway. So we're now up to 7,222 simoleons, which is much better than when we started, but we actually need to buy a few things first. We need to buy the cheapest and crappiest bed on the market placed down in this basement. And as you can see, I've built this amazing new interior wall separating the downstairs basement to this very unique room. It's a bit of a strange wall, but it does technically separate the room. Now, we are going to be using this room for storage, and so we definitely want a strong and heavy door. There we go. Fantastic. Trust me, we're not building a prison cell, legally speaking. We'll put it down as a temporary human containment area. That way it should all be above the board. So there we go. Circumference has his lovely little bedroom. Now in Circumference's bedroom, it is actually important that we build several things. He needs a treadmill. He also needs a chessboard. And that is all he is receiving. A single treadmill and a chessboard. Circumference's existence from this point on is going to become horrible. But it's necessary in order for our other character, Toby Larone, to kickstart his dream of creating the greatest chocolate bar anyone has ever experienced. So Circumference is going to go warm up on a treadmill and hopefully improve his athletic skill. Toby Larone, you don't actually even need to keep up with him. He can just go do his thing. Toby, I actually have an important task for you. You need to go visit the brand new town which you find yourself in. See, there's a very important shop, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Twin Brook Buy and Bargain Consignment Shop. It contains a fantastic treasure trove of unique items. How are you doing, Circumference? Well, look, you're doing great. You're getting healthier and everything. No, I'm going to have you stop doing that for now, actually, Circumference.
conference because for some reason you want to learn chess, which is fine. You may learn a logic skill because if anything, granting you temporary happiness is actually surprisingly important for us. His happiness means he learns skills faster. And over these first few days of this exploit, he needs to be able to learn skills very quickly. When it comes to Toby Larone, he finds himself in a abandoned hellscape because the graphics and textures of the game haven't loaded in yet. And sadly, he has to kind of sit around until I think about 10 when hopefully a shop assistant will come along allowing him to buy something in this shop. Now if we cross our fingers we will hopefully get a very unique item which guarantees our endless profitability. Hey go Toby Ron, go check out what they have for sale. So here we go, the shop's catalogue. They have some pretty crappy things like smoky quartz, some tanzanite and some music boxes and sadly not the item we're looking for. Yes you see we are looking for the fantastic petrol powered mining drill and we'll have to sadly come back tomorrow and see if we actually have it. Now thanks to our sims absolute terrible quantity of skills when they start out the game uh, their first few days of existence are going to be absolutely horrifying although for Toby Larone it can only improve from here but at the moment they only have access to horrifying quality mac and cheese and a basement with a treadmill and a chessboard but that's it oh my goodness they could have a fun time anyway it's time for everyone to go to their bed and have a nice night's sleep there we go that's the first day complete and honestly everything seemed to work out quite nicely I think now when it comes to food from this point on we're going to be feeding all of them on just juice per day which isn't going to be the nicest or tastiest of foods but it honestly doesn't matter and sadly circumference had a bad night's sleep but honestly it doesn't matter because as soon as he has his food he's going to hop onto the workout treadmill oh yeah hang on a second circumference was never that skinny what's happened to all of his frontal porch has he seriously run it off of over the space of two days he's had two days of existence and already he is now oh my god about half the size and weight this is incredible circumference if anything it's going to slightly make your face a bit more disproportionate but oh well it is fine now one thing which it's very important to do is to make sure that circumference becomes more and more lonely with time i know it's a very strange request but what it means is circumference can never talk to toby larone even though they live in the same house you should at all times make sure that the two don't have a chat with each other now toby larone's job every single day is to go to the consignment store to double check if they have a mining drill because one day they eventually will until that day comes circumference's job is to quite simply work out as much as he can and when he's not working out he needs to be playing chess now some great things are happening at the moment good old uh, circumference over here is becoming more and more lonely which is exactly what we want he's also hit athletic skill level five which is downright incredible and honestly his mood lit means he's having an absolute blast he's having a great time i know for a very brief period of time they were talking to each other which is bad as that means circumference here has improved his social abilities which is not good at all oh he's having a bad day oh poor little guy well it doesn't really matter because he's about to go to sleep and then tomorrow his day will be exactly the same he will wake up he will improve his skills and he's probably going to hit logic level four and hopefully athletic level five the higher our logic skill and higher our athletic skill the more money we're going to make from this exploit welcome back we're now several days later and some very unique things have happened including apparently toby larone is preparing for his upcoming birth by reading a pregnancy book right um, are you sure about that, Toby? <laughs> are you sure you're pregnant? <laughs> I don't think you are. I'm pretty certain you're not, my friend. Sims 3, are you okay? Oh, you poor little thing. Oh, what have I done to you? I haven't even started exploiting yet, and already you think everything's broken. Well, it matters little, because we have managed to purchase ourselves the latest and greatest, most fantastical piece of technology. This is a drill. Now, drills are a source of infinite money. As you can see, Circumference over here is busy operating the drill with his mega super muscly arms. He's just vibrating away above a massive gaping hole. Oh god, really do not quote me on that, that's terrible. Now you see, we are going to be stacking some very important modifiers, which means we're going to be able to completely and utterly destroy the economy of this game. You see, whilst Mr. Circumference is working above this hole, he's actually going to be gaining resources. It will take a while, but hopefully he will get some unique items out of the ground. Nope, instead he's gone to the toilet. Fine, each their own. After that, you get, have to get back to your drilling, my friend. I don't have time for you to do anything other than drilling. Well, evidently this area here is pretty useless. We have not got the gold modifier effect so that means we need to pack up our mining operation we did manage to get one valuable gem but ultimately it's not worth it right let's pick up the drill and pop it in your inventory with the drill in your inventory just move it to yet another location and immediately start drilling again oh and there we have it the miners proximity sensors went off drills into a cave network oh lovely perhaps a conference should investigate very good well with that glorious success he's going to go give himself a very 
tasty snack, you know what, good for him, go grab yourself a snack. Now, if we were to investigate this bad boy right now, then good news is we'd probably get some riches. The only downside is if you send someone down into the pit, they're not going to return for five hours with the resources. I personally don't have that much time to wait, so instead I have a much more creative way of gaining the wealths and riches of cave spelunking without any of the nasty time-consuming elements which come along with it. So we're going to send Circumference to sleep, because in seven hours' time, Circumference is going to go from being lonely to being completely and utterly isolated. Which is exactly what we want him to be, because when he feels he has no friends whatsoever, he can become the greatest cave diver in the entire universe of The Sims 3. I must say, I absolutely love The Sims. It's a really fun little game. Of course, Sims 3 and Sims 4 very different games. Some people prefer one over the other. Honestly, I feel like there are some things which The Sims 3 did better than The Sims 4, but at the same time, there were definitely some improvements to be had for both. There's not too many people playing The Sims 3 anymore, so if you are still playing it, hats off to you. I hope you're enjoying it. Sadly, most of the player base has moved off to different areas, so hey, come say hi in the comment section if you still play this lovely game. Anyway, Circumference's time is now upon him because he is sleeping in his bed. Whilst he's sleeping in his bed, he's managed to hit the social level of being completely desolate. When Sims get really, really lonely, they need to talk to somebody. What this means is he can't actually do any activity. If we were to send him to work out, he'd get up out of his bed and immediately stop working out. The same goes for chess. Allow me to demonstrate. We're going to wake him up off of his bed and he's going to get up and go to a basic workout. So he's going to walk on over to the basic workout and immediately he's cancelled it because of course he doesn't actually have a high enough social level in order to actually do it. And the game is panicking by saying you have to start asking people about your day because currently your social level is so low the game's not going to have you do anything. So instead we're going to have him walk over to the pit and have him investigate. Now you can spam the investigate and honestly it doesn't particularly matter you can layer it as many times as you like because this hole in the ground is never going to go away. Normally once you cave dive once the hole in the ground will go so you'll have to get another one made. So circumference he has zero social levels and if we were to throw him in the ground under normal circumstances it will take him five hours to come out the cave expedition will be over and the hole will go away. Instead ladies and gentlemen because he has zero sociability he is excited jumps into the pit in the ground who knows what exciting adventures await him. Now because this is his first time going in, it is actually going to take him a while to complete this bad boy, but there we have it, he's finally come out of the pit in the ground. Lovely stuff. He does look a little bit like a goblin if I'm honest, but hey, he's had a successful go in the mines. He was stopped by a group of curious hermit crab creatures that were lost. He led them to the nearest underground outpost where the authorities there helped him out. What on earth? Okay, right, I have no idea what he's managed to do, but anyway, he's completed his little adventure. He didn't actually gain any resources from it, but hey, he's completed one expedition and he's immediately going to start his next one. But after doing his first expedition, this is where the exploit now starts to happen. You see, he immediately hops into the hole and then because of his low sociability, immediately climbs his way out because the game is going, no, we need to have you not do an action and actually you need to do something different. The only issue is the game registers that you've completely managed to do the expedition. So every time he goes in, we just got a gigantic space rock and a luminorious gem. And you'll notice our inventory is starting to just fill up with a bunch of absolute random stuff. We have two gigantic space rocks, valued at 2,900 simoleons each, a bunch of silver, a tomato seed, an unknown rare seed, and we can just keep on throwing good old circumference into the hole. Because he goes in, immediately does an entire quest, and then throws himself out. It's absolutely incredibly broken. So we're just going to stack on all of the investigations. And remember, the higher his skills, the more likely he is to come out with better resources, which are more valuable. Already we've become very lucky because we've got two gigantic space rocks, which each technically sell for 3,000, but we can also actually investigate them and they could be worth even more. Anyway, we're going to throw circumference into the pit, so he throws himself down into the hole. Come on, what do you find down there? Who knows what exciting adventures await underground? Well, immediately you come out with some tanzanite. Very nice. Now, technically this existence is absolutely horrible and terrible, but at the same time, he can't die from it and he's only going to profit. Anyway, come on, you've got to get back down that hole. You know what's happening, circumference. He's really unhappy right now. He's absolutely miserable, but come on, it's exciting. You should feel excited. Now, the better his mood is, the more likely he is to come out with better things. The only thing you actually have to make sure he never does is to actually talk to other people as we can't ever let his social stat get high. But what we can 100% have him do is drink a bunch of quick juices so that he gets his bladder up and his hunger done and his energy and his hygiene. So as long as you technically make him happy and fix it up with a singe modifier, then he's actually going to be in a good mood and a good enough mood to do a bunch of cave diving. Alright, come on, go wash yourself in the bath, my friend. You 
are very, very singed right now, my friend. So there we go. He finishes his bath and he's actually in a very happy mood now. And now that he's in a happy mood, we're going to send him straight back into the cave network for him to do even more spelunking. There you go. Straight back down you go, my friend. And once again, he climbs in and then immediately climbs out. He's in and out in 10 minutes each time. This means instead of only being able to do a maximum of four cave dives per day, if you were to spend only four hours sleeping, eating and maintaining all of her stats, you could instead cave dive for a maximum of 144 times within a single day in this game. Which is, of course, as you can guess, much, much, much more effective because lo and behold, we just filled up our inventory with a bunch of extra rare super cool stuff. And you know what we can do with our super awesome space rocks? We can actually have them analyzed. Right, go take a look at these space rocks. What are they, circumference? Yes, there you go. He's discovered one is a axotite, massive giant space rock, valued at 4,000. Oh, very nice. And the other one is an, oh my goodness, one of the rarest space rocks in existence and far more precious than originally thought. It's valued at 13,000. Well done, circumference. Well done. And so we're just going to sell that bad boy immediately. Oh, there we go. And we can sell it once again. Wabam. So there we go. We're selling off some of our rocks because they're good fun. And we're also going to send for all of the gems which we've got to get cut in the post, which will be good. So there we go. We're going to be able to actually increase our profit from all of the raw resources we've gained. Now, one thing you must 100% make sure he's never able to do is to improve his social stat. Now, when someone is completely desolate, they will try and talk to literally anything which moves, be it a empty drill hole or a soggy piece of newspaper. So make sure to interrupt all of those actions and still send him to investigate. There we go. That should be some good investigations for today. What's this? He's feeling warmed for 16 minutes from the drill hole. Yeah, you do seem to be a little bit more than just warmed considering you are completely and utterly singed. Uh, but yeah, sure, you say warmed and toasty, providing a happy plus 25 mood modifier. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Now, on the last expedition, we managed to pick ourselves up an emerald, some yellow sapphire, and some gold. Very nice. I must say, I do quite enjoy how every time he hops himself into the hole, he really does not want to go in there. Look at our poor friend. He does not want to go in there. But no, nope, you got to go in, my friend. Straight in you go. Who knows what adventures await, yes. Anyway, we're going to send Circumference to sleep because he's actually had a fantastic day. He's made a ridiculous amount of money over a very short period of time. Of course, all of it goes to Toby Larone, but hey, he doesn't need to worry about that. Toby Larone is just busy cleaning up everything else in the house. And yes, we've just made all of that money in one day. This is technically quite crazy, but it isn't even at its maximum. Technically speaking, you could have as many sims as you like doing this. You could even have an entire household of circumferences because you can have as many glowing holes as you like so you could have one here one here one here one here and one here and you could just be repeatedly and continuously throwing all of your family members into a pit of doom and darkness and sure there's a 50 50 chance they'll come out with absolutely nothing and set on fire but there's equally a 50 percent chance that they'll come out with a ridiculously valued space rock allowing you to go from having only four thousand in your family's bank account to having twenty one thousand at the same time we're not even selling these for maximum profit because if we sell them directly in the game we only manage to get their base value. If you manage to get a moon rock sold at the legendary and fantastical consignment shop, then you're able to actually sell any item in the game for 200% its value. This is of course only if it's bought very quickly. At the same time, you can get a bunch of lifetime rewards to make it so that you actually make even more money just whenever, which is always very nice. Oh my goodness, he is completely and utterly miserable at the moment. What is making you so upset? Come on, you have fresh clothing and you're having a blast. You should be over the moon. But no, apparently you're very hungry, singed, disgusted, unfinished room, and you're desolate. Wow, you just really don't like anything I've given you. Can't believe it. Now, because of our fantastic mentorship and preparation, circumference is now actually in good old happy mode, which is exactly where we want him to be. He's got maxed out energy, he's good for hunger, bladder, hygiene, and fun. And so this means it's perfect time to send him back into the cave network to find some lovely resources. Go, my friend, go. At the same time, Toby Larone, all he has to do is is quite simply clean up the house a bit and then receive all of the resources which we're going to be getting through the post today which should hopefully be all of the gems we sent off to get cut into special ways oh and my goodness uh circumference are you okay you are immediately on fire what is this what have you got in your inventory you've got a blue topaz now that's lovely why do you have a lobster a 31 kilogram lobster how much is a lobster even meant to be let me just quickly check average weight of lobster the largest recorded specimen of a lobster is 5.5 kilograms 
kilograms. Right. So we have a lobster which is almost six times the size of the largest lobster in the entire known universe. We have discovered Giga Lobster and it was just quite simply lying in a pit in the ground. Now good old circumference here was actually going to try and talk to a chess set but of course we can't allow that to happen as he needs to stay completely desolate. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness he managed to have a few close calls but he escaped unscathed. He got the following rewards of palladium, silver, gold and a gigantic space rock. Oh this is everything I need right. Analyze that gigantic rock. Oh and here comes our postman. He's about to drop off all of the resources we popped in the post last time. Lovely stuff. Right, go here. Don't you dare talk to the postman. Right actually there we go. Get the mail and pay the bills. Also we'll sell our gigantic space rock. Lovely stuff. And here come all of our gems. Oh look at them. They are lovely. We've got a palladium ingot for 658. We've got some pear cut topazes. Some smoky quartz. A lovely oval cut. Oh there's so many beautiful gems we now own. And of course the mega lobster. And there we go. After having a lovely nap we're going to immediately send circumference back down into the veritable pits of chaos to discover even more lovely resources. Right away you go my friend. Well you uh, got very singed but hey you managed to still get out with a bunch of resources so that's all worth it. But as you can see because our logic skills and athletic skills are still not quite perfectly high enough we do still occasionally fail some of these adventures. Of course overall we are winning most of them and at the same time it doesn't particularly matter because we can just send them on infinite quantities but still. Yes apparently on our adventures we did manage to get three grams of plutonium um, an incredibly complex material that is radioactive. Okay right um, so good old circumference here is currently holding plutonium in his pockets. Yep. Are you okay? Are you fine? You don't seem okay as a conference, but then again, you never exactly seemed okay. Oh, I do pity your existence. Oh my goodness, not only did we just get another gigantic space rock, it's a meteorite. How how much does that actually weigh? 468 kilograms. Okay, so you're telling me good old circumference here picked up a 468 kilogram rock and managed to drag it out of this hole? How big is it? Oh my good lord, that is massive. <laughs> <laughs> and you carried this by yourself, circumference, did you? Oh, yeah. This is uh, exactly how the developers intended Sims 3 to be played. Yes. But you have your spelunking gremlin who goes into the caves, holds out massive, colossal rocks for you. Oh, my goodness. Now, after our fantastic mining operations, we've generated a ridiculous quantity of revenue, including just grabbing a bunch of collectibles at the same time. We managed to, for some reason, get a bunch of garden gnomes, because, you know, apparently you can dig up super mysterious gnomes in the ground, which is lovely. Our legendary character, Circumference, has managed to generate not only a ridiculous amount of revenue for us, almost over 100,000, he's also managed to get incredibly jacked in the process. I mean, just look at this handsome man. Who wouldn't want him? And he can be yours for just £5.99 and a single like on this video. Circumference will come and work for you and dig many, many holes in your garden. You can't stop him because he is exceedingly powerful. But nonetheless, who wouldn't want this beautiful gremlin? What a fantastic fantastic deal we're offering you today. Anyway, I think that's all for today's video. I've absolutely enjoyed revisiting The Sims 3 here. However, our adventure in The Sims 3 is not over. I have many more plans for this household because there are many, many more exploits. So if you are interested in seeing more exploits in the game, give me a shout in the comment section and I'll make sure to make it more of a priority than some of my other very unique projects going on in the background. If you have, of course, enjoyed what you've seen here today, feel free to give the video a like. And if you're new here, do consider subscribing because we'd absolutely love to see more of you out and about in the community. As always, a massive thank you to each and every one of my majestic patrons who not only provided the bankrolling for today's massive drilling operation, but also the emotional support necessary to keep circumference locked in a tiny box. Thank you very much for your funding as always. And hey, if you're sat there wondering what video you'd like to watch next, look no further than this one on screen now. I decided if you probably enjoyed this one, you're going to love these two videos on screen, so go give them a try. Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have an absolutely lovely lovely day and goodbye for now.